No way. No fucking way. Someone got drunk, tried to drive, and ended up killing someone? No way. That never fucking happens. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? A drunk driver crashed into someone and killed them. So this guy got drunk, crashed into someone who was walking down the side of the street, cut that person in half, and then just continued to drive with half that person's body on his car. He did a drunk hit and run. Actually, I don't even think it's considered a hit and run when you take half the victim with you. I bet this guy was so drunk he didn't even realize he hit someone. Probably thought it was a bump in the road and just kept going. Like, oh, was that a raccoon? No, this wasn't an animal, man. It was a human being. It was a person. You just cut him in half. You know how fast you have to be driving to cut someone in half? I don't know because I've never cut someone in half with my car, but I imagine you have to be going very fucking fast. And on top of that, this guy didn't even have a driver's license. He wasn't even a licensed driver, and he got into a car drunk. He was at his friend's house drinking, and then he decided to drive home. And he ended up killing a factory worker. There was two friends who were on break from their factory job, and they were just walking down the street. And this guy came out of nowhere and cut the one guy in half, right in front of his friend. He could have killed two people. He probably thought it was only one person, but he could have killed two people. He probably probably thought it was four people, actually, if he had double vision. This poor guy's just on a break from his job, taking a nice walk down the street, and then this drunk piece of shit comes out of nowhere. Here's a picture of the guy here. Fucking piece of shit. They found his car about four kilometers away from the crash scene, but he already fled the car. It probably took him four kilometers to realize he just killed someone. But they identified him later, and they found him. Now he's being arrested, and now he's gonna be punished for his crime. Maybe just walk home if you're that drunk, or maybe just get someone else to drive you. Maybe get someone who who has the license to drive your car. Maybe someone who's sober that has a license. What a piece of shit. Now he's gonna be arrested. You shouldn't be fucking drinking and driving. The world knows this fact. It's a fact, okay? Anyone that's like, no, I'm okay when I'm drunk driving. No, you just get lucky. If you're drinking and driving and not killing people, I feel like it's just a matter of time. I would never drink and drive because I don't want to end up in a situation like this. I know, but when I'm drunk, I'm like, fuck that, I'm not driving. I'll curl up in the middle of the bar. I'll sneak into the bathroom and sleep in the bar. But no, normally what I do is before I know I'm gonna go out and get all wasted and drunk, I will just line up a ride beforehand. And if I don't have a ride, then I won't get drunk. I think it's called self-control. You don't wanna end up like this poor piece of shit. Can I call him a piece of shit a couple more times before I end this video? Fucking shitty piece of shit, shit bag. Shitty shit baggy. A shitty bag of shit. So last video I asked you guys, what would you do if you had a bug in your ear? What would you do to cleanse your ear from the insects inside it? And here's what you said. So I want to know, if you just got cut in half for whatever reason, what would your last words be, assuming that you could get something out before your body just kind of failed? And I just want to thank you guys for watching my video, and if you enjoyed my video, then hit the subscribe button. And if you're already subscribed, then... then, uh... Sweet. It's fucking awesome.